I'm excited. Welcome to the GMAP Broadcast Network. I am yours truly, Pastor Kevin, GMAP1.com. We are the number one faith-based, motivational, and inspirational broadcast platform in the country. And, of course, my guest right now on today, Jay Latoy. Jay Latoy, God bless you, and how are you? I am excellent. How are you? If you have to ask me, I must be slipping. Well, all right then. Okay. <laughs> you are so funny. God bless you. And of course, uh, normally I like to join people on the screen. But when I do conversations like this, I always like to be focused on them. So today okay. we're going to learn a little bit about Jay Latoy. Why don't you do me a favor, Jay? Why don't you introduce yourself? Tell us who you are and tell us where you're from. All righty. Good evening or hello. Greetings to everyone. I do go by the name of Jay Latoy. I am a singer songwriter. I am based in Atlanta, Georgia, but I'm originally from the British Virgin Islands, but I've been a Georgia native for about 20 years. So I like to call myself an island peach. But um, yes, like I said, I'm a singer songwriter, a music educator, mom, all of those things that us wonderful black women are. <laughs> tell the truth tell the truth shame the devil well i am so honored and grateful to have you uh, as our guest today on the gmap broadcast network i know uh that we have this awesome awesome single that we're going to be sharing uh with people titled feels so right why don't you tell us a little bit about that song if you don't mind absolutely so i wrote this song in a moment of being in love, as we have all experienced, um, not all, but most of us have experienced from time to time. So I was in the moment of just being in love and I just wanted to express those feelings and how it felt to just be in that presence of that certain individual. Um, it's kind of like a wedding song type feel, but um, I just wanted to express the love that I was feeling in that moment. And the song is pretty self-explanatory in that way. Well, now, I, I, I did hear you say on your introduction that you are a singer-songwriter. Is this uh, your first project, your freshman project, or were there some prior to this one being released? This is my first of, it was off of my first official project out to the masses. Um, like, yes, on all digital outlets, it was off of my first EP that I released um, a couple years ago. Wow. Well, you know, I know that uh, the journey is always a interesting journey. You did say that uh, it was based on uh, being in love, you know, which there's yeah. nothing wrong with uh, being in love. Now, if you were to reach out to individuals today and, and some of them would say, Jay Latoy, you know, I appreciate what you have done over the years. I appreciate this particular song. It feels so right. Hey, that, that was a segue. I love that. Um, but what's next uh, for Jay Latoy? What would your response be? Uh, my response will be whatever God has for me. And I know it sounds cliche, but um, it's whatever God has for me. It's definitely going to be more music, more songs geared towards love. Um, God is love, right? So you can um, express love in a way that reflects God in it. And that's what I try to do through my music. And yes, it's not like the quote unquote gospel per se, but it's still spreading light and love to a world that's pretty dark. And I want to be able to reach people that normally wouldn't pick up a gospel record, you know? So I try to get, allow God to use my voice in whatever avenue he sees fit. So definitely more music. Um, <clears throat> I definitely love to sing about love and inspiration. So just be on the lookout for more music in that area. Well, you know, I, I'm going to respond by simply saying uh, you wrote a song and released a single um, that feels so right about love. Just so the world knows, Jesus is love. Jesus is right. all about love. love. And, mm -hmm. and this is so very important. Um, um, I love the single. I love the video, uh, which I'm going to be airing shortly here on the GMAP Broadcast Network. If you don't know, uh, Jay Latoy is a, a featured music ministry on the GMAP Broadcast Network. We're located at gmap1.com. That's gmap, the number one, dot com. When you go there, click on the tab that simply says GMAP Music Ministries. You'll see a picture of this young lady, 
and of course you can click on that picture it will take you to the necessary location to find out more intimate information how she can be reached uh, uh, how you can connect with her but we're not going to deprive you of that today uh, if someone wanted to reach out to Jay Latoy, how would they go about it? Is there a phone number, email, website, manager? How can people connect with you? Um, well, I'm still underground, so it's just, you know, me, myself, and the Lord God Almighty. So they can email me at J-L-A-T-O-Y, Jay Latoy Music at gmail.com. Or they can follow me on social media, Facebook, it's... Um, Facebook.com backslash I am Jay Latoy or on Instagram at Jay Latoy Music. Hey Amen. She said, I'm so underground. <laughs> that was a good one right there. Now, of course, I know that there uh, is going to be plenty of uh, individuals that uh, may be viewing uh, this conversation now or maybe even, in fact, see the rebroadcast on uh, either our Comcast cable broadcast or on Facebook or YouTube. Um, but if, in fact, they wanted to connect uh, with you and purchase uh, a copy of this outstanding single, uh, where is it available? How can they do that? They can find me everywhere that music is sold on digital outlets. Okay, um, We don't really do physical copies these days, but they can definitely find me on iTunes, Amazon, Google, Tidal, Spotify, all of the outlets they can find and purchase wherever music is sold digitally. Now I'm gonna draw a scenario for you, Jay, and um, I want you to pay attention to this uh, scenario. Okay. I'm, I'm gonna to put together what I call my megatorium, okay? Okay. My, my megatorium is going to consist of the T.D. Jakes Potter's House and the Joel Osteen Auditorium put together. Okay. It's my megatorium. My megatorium has 50,000 seats in it. Every last one of these seats are occupied by young ladies. All right. Okay. I had the honor, the privilege, and the blessing of introducing Jay Latoy to the podium in my megatorium occupied by 50,000 young ladies. My question would be, what would you say to them? I would say to um, be true to who you are, whoever that is in the space that you are in, be true to who you are. It's okay to not know. It's okay to feel. It's okay to express. Um, I would say, obviously, to put God first in everything, because when you seek him, literally everything else comes into place. So whatever you may be going through, seek God and he's going to help you through it. Um, whether it's a breakup, whether it's depression, whether it's shame from your past, whatever it is, there's no thing that you have done that will take you away from the love of God. So I would say to definitely seek God first, because then he will help you to reveal who you are. Walk in that truth of whoever you are. Don't try to fit into whatever society says that you need to be. Um, once you stay true to God, close to God, and by being close to God, I mean actually seeking after him, you know, surrounding yourself with like-minded individuals that seek God as well. Um, staying away from drama, just feeding your spirit with things that will edify you, whether that's reading God's word, whether that's surrounding yourself with um, maybe female ministers, whatever you surround yourself with, you kind of attract. So I would say um, surround yourself with the right people that will speak life into you, um, to think positively about yourself and about what you want, be intentional about what you want, trust God for what you want, Pray about everything. I mean, I could say a lot. I mean, it's 50,000 women, so I guess I'd be up there for about a good hour. But the key to it is really to just seek God first. Really carve out time in your day where you're dedicating time to God and everything else will fall into place. Whether you have gone through traumatic experiences, whether you're going through a hard time now, or whether it's great and everything is going well, as long as you have God as the core and the the um, the cornerstone of your heart and where you are, then everything else will fall into place in spite of what it feels like in the moment. Wow. That truly was an inspiring word. It inspired me. I want to say this. 
that there's a young lady that I had the privilege of speaking to moments ago prior to this conversation by the name of Santa Coleman. And I want to send a shout out to her because she just released her book publication on today. And I know for a fact that those words of encouragement inspired her. I want to say, wow. Sandra, we love you. We appreciate you. Stay encouraged and continue to do what God has blessed you to do. Absolutely. Um, 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 and I'm grateful for you. I am going to bless the people uh, with your hit single, uh, Feel So Right. And I'm going to say you continue to stay on track to do what God has blessed you to do as well. I want you to have the Thank final you, thoughts Robert. as we go into Feel So Right. I'm going to move over and give you the final thoughts before we continue. The floor is yours, Jay Latoy. Thank you so much. I want to say thank you so much for allowing me the opportunity to come on here to um, <clears throat> just share who I am with the world, what God has placed inside of me. Um, just my last thought is really to hone in on who you are and who you are in God. The closer you are to God, the more you discover who you are, the more you can walk in the greatness that is who you are. Um, the world has you have something inside of you that the world needs that is unlike any other person. The same way that we have DNA that are specific to us is the same way we have a spiritual DNA, a spiritual destiny that is specific to us that the world needs in order to prosper. The world needs the light that God has placed inside of us. So understand that you are valuable, that the uniqueness inside of you is necessary for God to do what he needs to do and to believe in yourself, believe in who you are. Lucky stars 